In this edition of 2020 Daily Trail Markers, three top Democratic presidential candidates fielded questions this week from members of Nevada's largest labor union. Elizabeth Warren was the first to take the stage at a town hall with the Culinary Workers Union on Monday. She addressed several topics, including health care, immigration and labor. Bernie Sanders followed Tuesday, holding his ground when questioned about his Medicare for all plan. And Joe Biden wrapped up the series of town halls Wednesday. The former vice president used personal antidotes while tackling similar issues. For more, let's begin in CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Alex Tin. Alex, what issues are important to union members there in Nevada? And what approach did the candidates take in actually addressing them? Well, good evening. It was right here in this room on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that we heard from Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Joe Biden. And by we, I don't mean just the press. I mean hundreds of culinary union members packed into this one room asking questions that ranged on topics all the way from immigration reform to labor law reform. But there was one big issue that is unique to the culinary union that all three candidates made sure to stand in solidarity with to discuss, not just here in this room, but have been for months online and on the campaign trail. And that's with the culinary union's dispute with Station Casinos, a local casino chain. One candidate, Joe Biden, went so far even to tell the crowd here that he would return a contribution that he received from one of the station casino's executives, a contribution we first reported about here on CBS. And he said to some laughs and cheers that he would, quote, some of them are going to jail under a Biden administration. All right, so how important is the Culinary Union's endorsement to a presidential candidate? Well, you have to understand in Nevada, like any other caucus state, there is no one silver bullet, so I don't want to overstate it. After all, the Culinary Union in 2008 endorsed Barack Obama, and he still failed to gain a majority of votes in that contest. But undeniably, the Culinary Union, if it picks an endorsement, when it picks an endorsement before caucus day on February 22nd, will be a huge rhetorical boost for any candidate looking to claim support among, Ameri uh, among Nevada's major major labor union community. But number two, it also proves to open a door among a key constituency, a key voting block for the Democratic Party here in the state. And that's working class Latinos living here in Las Vegas and upstate in Reno. There are few other groups that can claim to have the membership of 60,000 members mm -hmm. in the state that has been organized, that is politically active, and as they chanted here on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, quote, we vote, we win. All right. Well, Senator Sanders was heckled at one point during his town hall when an attendee actually asked him about his health care plan and why she should give up the one she has right now at the Culinary Union. I want to play some of that and, and let's talk about it. We are proposing, number one, we're going to expand Medicare to cover dental care. Because dental care is health care. We're going to make sure that everybody in America who needs it has hearing aids, has high glasses. And the other thing that we are going to do is have Medicare cover, cover home health care so that elderly people are not pushed out of their homes in nursing homes. because we're going to take on the greed of the pharmaceutical industry and lower drug prices significantly. Nobody will pay more than $200 a year for prescription drugs, no matter what your illness is. That was the moment right there. So can you put this in context for our viewers? Why are union workers in Nevada skeptical about Medicare for all plans? Well, what you heard there is really the two sides of Bernie's appearance here at the Culinary Union. On the one hand, he has huge support in Nevada, in the state, and right here in Las Vegas. And you saw a lot of his supporters here at the event standing up and chanting, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. And yet at the same time, you heard those people chanting union health care. There were a couple people who even shouted, how do you pay for it? 
And a lot of that skepticism comes from two things. Number one, the Culinary Union has a treasured, hard-fought culinary health plan here that serves culinary members. It's considered the gold standard by many, not just Culinary Union members, but people across Las Vegas and Nevada. And a lot of people, number two, are concerned here in the union about the concessions they had to make in order to get that kind of health care, in order to get the contributions that casinos make in order to fund that kind of health care. Now, what Bernie Sanders argued at the event was you will see that differential, those wage increases that you gave up, you'll get that in a form of a wage boost when the government is paying for that health care. But a lot of people in this room were skeptical. Even Dee Taylor, which is the leader of the National Union, night here, to which the Culinary Union is a part of, told the New York Times reportedly after, quote, nobody believes that. Come on. Alex, also Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren were asked similar questions about health care. How did their responses fare and how was it different and how was it received by all of the people there? Well, Elizabeth Warren got applause for what she said. She said, quote, what you've got is something I want to see replicated all around America. She, Joe Biden, and Bernie Sanders have all visited the Culinary Union health facilities, and she made a point of praising their health facilities here in the state. Joe Biden, on the other hand, was quick and was well received to say that his public option plan, as opposed to the single payer Medicare for all that Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders support, that that it wouldn't quote take away that their health care. It wouldn't quote take away their health care. He even said quote You're going to get to keep it with me so soon before a questioner even finished asking his question about health care. So it's clear that the three candidates are waging over this key issue for the culinary union. And the real question is whether culinary union members will have this as the deciding factor over whether they support one of those candidates for an endorsement. So what comes next? Can we expect to see more Democratic candidates take similar opportunities in Nevada leading up to the February caucuses? Well, the Culinary Union here in the state says that these events are a huge production. In order to get hundreds of shift workers down from the Strip into this room, that requires a lot of planning and a lot of resources on the union's part. So at least for now, for the rest of the calendar year, the union says there will be no more events of this kind with candidates. But you can be sure that candidates like Pete Buttigieg or Tom Steyer that have climbed in the polls in recent months here in Nevada will be asking for an opportunity to do the same Thing that those three candidates did this week, which is make their case to culinary union members, make it clear that they stand in solidarity with them, and hope to earn their support come February 22nd, the day of the Nevada caucus. All right, a union that still has a lot of political firepower. Thank you so much, Alex Tin.